All right, guys, so you're going to be doing a look it to start class as a warm up. And I created this one called number of solutions. We're going back into what we did um, earlier in the week. Now, I was trying to get you guys to remember the cheat codes that we could do with these kinds of questions. So I'm actually these are the questions that you're going to have on it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of these. Let's see if I can do this. All three of these questions. I'm going to take a picture of them and then just talk about them. So when we're looking at this problem here, it's a look it. So I want you to be able to answer it quicker. I don't want you to have to take a whiteboard or your paper and have to solve this. I don't want you to have to do that. But I want you to just think in your brain. Remember, if it's the same on both sides, like say this is 2x plus 1 equals 2x plus 1. If both sides are the same, remember I taught you guys that the answer is infinite solutions right every answer would work for this one if both sides are the same that's kind of the cheat code but if they're not both the same say this is 10 but the variables are the same but not the constants then it's no solution it doesn't work so let me repeat myself one more time there if the variables are the same right and you look at these you're like yep that's the same that's the same but the constants are not then it's no solution so looking at this first one, you do have to do a little bit of work. You have to combine your like terms. 2 plus 2, 4x, bring down the 3, 4x plus 3. Well, look at 4x plus 3 is also 4x plus 3. Interesting. They are infinite. What about this one? 4x, 4x, cool. But 2 and 5 are not the same. So this is no solution. All right, what about this one? Same, same. No, they're not. Okay. Um, as you keep going through these, some of them may be one solution. This is one solution because if you subtract 3 from 5x, you're going to get 2x. Subtract 2 from 1, you're going to get 1. Okay, 2x equals 1. So understand that there are going to be different answers here. So this is your warm-up. After you do your warm-up, so this one's kind of tough, right? 3x times 3 is 9. So 3x plus 9, 3x plus 5, the variables are the same but the constants are not, so that's no solution. This one looks interesting. Both sides are the same, infinite. Okay, now let's take a look at your, once you're done with the look it, the back side of this, uh, so you're gonna be doing a Jeopardy game. I have a board for you, equations, equations, and graphing, okay? But for here, I want you guys to be able to do these problems, so let's go ahead and go over this. So the first two problems, the first one here, Remember, the negative goes to the 1. All right, same down here. That negative goes to the 3. The negative always goes to the numerator. That's going to help you because that means you're going down first. You're going down, all right? So let's start at the y-intercept, negative 2. And then you're going to go down 1 over 2. Now, remember I told you guys, keep doing the patterns, down 1 over 2. If you can keep doing that, that's going to help you. And you know the pattern's going to keep going this way, too. So if it's down, if we're going this way, you're to the left, 2, up, 1. 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 Do you see that pattern? And then now we can create a really good line. Okay? Let's try the other line. Positive 2. And then it's down 3 over 2. Down 3, 1, 2, 3 over 2. Well, let's do it again. Down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. Boom, boom. And we have an answer here. Over 4. Over 4, down 4. Right? So over to the right 4, down 4. And there's your answer there. Let's do this one real quick. Why don't you guys try this on your own? Negative 3. Up 1, over 3. Now, if you kept doing this, this is to the left three, down one. Do you see the pattern? To the left three, down one. Could you do that same pattern again? To the left three, down one. All right, there's the first line. And what about this one? Positive one. And what is this? What's negative x? Is that negative one x, which actually means negative one over one, which means you're going to go down one to the right one, down one to the right one. Down one to the right one, down one to the right one, down one to the right one, down one to the right one. And you can see pretty quickly that it's going to go over three, down two. Boom. 
All right, there's your answer there. All right, let's look at the equations. Why don't you take a second, try this one on your own. If it helps you, put it as a one. If this is a one X, you got to move it over here, letters to the left, subtract one X. I get two X plus four equals 10. And then subtract four, I get two X equals six. All right, divide two, X equals three. All right, what about this side? Distribute, we get 8x plus 10 equals 4x plus 10 plus 2x. All right, this one's a little different. Letters to the left. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, what's your first step? Look at these. Do you see they're on the same side? I almost messed up there. So combine like terms. It's 4x plus 2x equals 6x. Then letters to the left equals 10. Then from here, subtract 10. This is a little different. All right. This equals zero. Now, 2x equals zero. This is not a zero x. So it's not going to be no solution or infinite. This is not no solution or infinite. But let's read the sentence like a math problem. Two times a number equals zero. What times two equals zero? The answer is zero. Does that work? If I put zero here, zero times two equals zero and that checks out. All right, you guys, on this side, use the Jeopardy game to really test your skills. I'm going to have Miss Alonzo uh, either collect these or go around and stamp them for full credit. And you guys can study these for tonight because the quiz may have the same exact questions on there. Show all your work here and here, you guys. Do the best you can.